else. Anybody know the difference between these two things? You won't believe it, but one is a vegetable. Now you might recognize this as a noodle, right? Spaghetti that we all love. Well, this is a similar thing, but it's called spaghetti squash, right? Spaghetti squash kind of looks like long strings of noodles, but it has a ton of vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, a lot of people think that squash comes from America right? Because they were here when the pioneers and the pilgrims came to the Americas. Well, it's actually not. It's from China. So hundreds of years ago, they found the first spaghetti squash in China. Well, guess who brought it over to America? Marco Polo, right? Pretty cool stuff. So join me over here. I'm going to show you a few things we can do with spaghetti squash and why it's so amazing for you. Do you remember how we talked about A, B, and C vitamins? Well, they have something in common. Every one of those vitamins actually helps to protect your cells. Vitamin A actually protects your skin cells and helps your body and keeps your skin healthy. Vitamin B helps protect brain cells, right? And vitamin C actually helps to protect cells that keep you healthy and strong. So every one of those cells are inside. I mean, every one of those vitamins are actually inside of spaghetti squash. Now, this might look a little daunting, right? It's kind of this long, shaped, hard shell vegetable. Well, it's super, super simple. All you're gonna do is take a fork and poke it in the outside of this. See how I'm making little punctures right here? All I'm gonna do is make little holes right in this squash all the way around so that it doesn't explode in your oven, right? Kind of like you do potatoes when you bake those. Now, I've set my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna cook it for about 30 minutes. Some people like to cut it right in half and take the seeds out first, but I found it's a lot easier to take the seeds out once it's cooked. So all you're gonna do is take this thing, got lots of punctures in it, and put it in your oven for 30 minutes, all right? Now make sure, it's, make sure you're safe because it's hot. So once it's done like this, I actually have one that I've already cooked. So I bring it out of the oven and the shell gets so soft. Can you see how I can just push right into that? So inside of that is actually the meat of the vegetable, the spaghetti squash. Now the cool thing is once I've taken the seeds out, all I'm gonna do is begin to scrape out the spaghetti squash. And you're gonna see how it starts to look like pasta. Now, it is so delicious. Once I scrape this out, you won't believe this. It is so much fun. So I've got the spaghetti, I'll take care of that part later. I just wanna show you really quick. Look how fun that is. See those noodles? Now, you can flavor this with garlic, with pine nuts, with butter, with olive oil, whatever you want. Today, I chose to keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna take a little bit of butter, put it right on top, maybe a little bit more, right? I'm gonna stir it around the vegetable, and then I'm gonna top it with some Parmesan cheese. And you could add salt and pepper if you'd like, but for me, the Parmesan cheese is salty enough, so I just put the Parmesan cheese on top. Now, can you imagine if you scrape out both of these, you've got a whole thing full of spaghetti squash. You don't need a, a lot for dinner. Everyone needs maybe just a half a cup for a full serving of the vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. But it is so delicious. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna let that sit for just a minute. The cheese will melt on top. And all we're gonna do is go like this. Hey. Looks like I'm eating spaghetti. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's a little bit crunchy. I can taste that Parmesan and even the butter. You've got to try this recipe. Oh, this is so delicious. And a fantastic way to get vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. So try it this week, and I'll see you in the other room for yoga. Hi boys and girls, let's start out with our breathing today. So stand up, push your chairs in, make sure you've got some room around you. Then put your thumbs on your rib cage, tap your belly, your stomach, take a big deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Try to get a little bit higher every time, take in more air, inhale. And exhale. Nice job, when you're ready, one more time, inhale. Exhale. Nice job, last one. Take it all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Let all the air out. 
Nice job. So any any time that we practice those breathing techniques, it's a really great way to reset your mind, to help your body kind of relax, and to get new oxygen in your body, okay? Now we're gonna try something fun called the Sun Salutation Pause Game. And all we're gonna do is practice our regular Sun Salutation, but I'm gonna pause at different places and make you hold the pose, all right? Now notice what muscles we're using, and also notice how it feels different, the different poses that we use, okay? So I'm gonna turn to the side, stay where you're at, Inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, hold here. Nice job, stretch your ankles towards the floor, press your legs, lift your kneecaps. Inhale, and exhale. Release, nice job, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale up, hold. Two breaths here, last one. Exhale, back to down dog. Nice job. Holding it here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're going to try three jump ups. So get ready. Hands are, are shoulder width apart. Spread the fingertips. Now let's try to bring those feet all the way up to the hands. Ready? Jump. Nice job. Come all the way back again. Jump. Nice. All the way back again. And jump. Good job. Come all the way up. Inhale. And exhale back down. <laughs> nice job. Now I'm going to pause in a different place this time. Okay, so watch closely. I'm going to start with the sun salutation. Here we go. Inhale up. Hold it. Put your fingertips together and point those fingertips all the way up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Get as tall as you can. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, exhale, fall forward, nice job. Step or jump back, hold, don't move. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nice job, lower down, inhale up, back to down dog. Good, we're gonna rest here for three counts. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself while you're here, take your right hand and reach back to your left knee, right behind your knee, okay? And just lightly hold there. If you wanna keep both hands on the floor, go ahead and do so, but this is a fun way to challenge. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good, switching sides. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good, when you're ready, we're ready for the jump ups, okay? Feet come up, and even if you only jump up to here, that's fine, just try to get both feet off the ground. When you're ready, jump up, and back. Good job, take a big breath. Jump up and come back down, nice job. One more time, jump all the way up and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head's the last thing to come up and release, inhale up and exhale back down. Nice job, my heart rate's definitely getting up. Now notice this last time that we do it, which muscles are you using? I'm gonna go through the whole sun salutation. Okay, here we go, inhale up, exhale. Inhale, exhale, drop the neck. Stay here for just a minute, move your head side to side. Take your hands back up behind you. Good, drop the hands back down. Okay, we're gonna go to plank pose. Step or jump back and lower down. Inhale up, exhale, back to down dog. Three deep breaths here. Here we go. Jump up and back. Jump up and back. Jump up and back. Nice job. Slowly walk your feet up. And roll up one vertebra at a time. Let that head roll side to side. My neck feels a little bit tight. 
Try to feel where those muscles are tied in your body. Is it your legs or your arms? Inhale the arms up. Exhale back down. Nice job. That jumping definitely got my heart rate up. And I did notice that my neck was tight. So while we're doing these yoga poses, try to notice what part of your body feels tight. Or maybe muscle, you know, what muscles you're using, things like that. Nice job. So let's do daydream today for one minute and 50 seconds. Okay, we're building every single week. Okay, now, because we just did spaghetti squash, I want you to pretend like you have this oblong spaghetti squash in your hand, okay? Now, you can sit crisscross applesauce, or you can lay down, you decide. You ask your teachers, however you want to do it works best. Okay, now, we're gonna sit up tall, or lay down really long, and imagine you've got this orange, yellow vegetable in your hand. It kind of feels heavy. The only thing you're going to listen to is the sound of your breath. So you kind of imagine the squash. Imagine where it came from. Imagine the seeds. How it looks inside of it. The different colors. The different sizes that it can come in. And while you keep that image in your mind, see if you can relax your muscles. Your face muscles shoulder muscles, your back, your stomach, your hips, even into your legs, your knees, your calf muscles and your ankles, even your toes. Let every single muscle just feel heavy for one more minute. Only part moving is your stomach as it takes the air in and out. Your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the image of that vegetable in your hands. seconds. I want you to pretend like that vegetable just rolled out of your fingertips. And now you can rest your hands. Let them rest. Fifteen more seconds. Every single muscle is relaxed. your eyes. Nice job. When you're ready, let's take one final breath. Inhale, sit up straight. Don't move your arms this time. Just focus on your stomach. Here we go. Inhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. Nice job. Now, here's my question. Did you feel that squash roll out of your hands? Right? I imagined it was here, and then when I let the squash roll out, my hands actually felt a little bit lighter. So when we imagine things and we daydream, we can actually feel them, right? Nice job today. So next week, we'll try two whole minutes. Join me next week, and I'll see you for Yoga Me Do. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.